All right, welcome back. It's still the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We'll stay with uh, the Cardona Abuja train attack. Uh, and of course, uh, we know there are more updates, there are more revelations. And uh, we have the Railway Union um, President General who will be telling us more um, of the things that have unfolded. But then again, also in the news, uh, the high demand for the tickets. Um, um, has created an opportunity for sharp practices at the rail station. Some corrupt officials have devised means of selling tickets to desperate passengers at under-the-counter rate. Well, the fear of abduction and robbery on the Abuja, Kaduna Highway and other roads in Nigeria, some passengers have no option than to buy the ticket at exorbitant prices. Uh, this is all coming in the wake of the Kaduna Abuja rail trap, where more revelations, like I said, have um, you know been revealed as regards the number of passengers. Joining us right now to look at this is the President General of the Nigerian Union of Railway Workers, Innocent uh, Gigi. Good morning to you, Innocent. Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me here. Yes, Innocent, uh, indeed, we've had you like once, twice on the show uh, since um, this incident. And uh, from what we understand, that there are more um, details, there are more updates and revelations coming up. You know, what uh, new information are you getting concerning this uh, incident that has happened once and twice again this week okay okay thank you very much um it is uh, really pathetic it is really sad and uh, we are not happy as a union and even as a railway worker it is very very unfortunate over what has happened to us but, but um the recent revelations i'm getting to know is that um, we have a comrade who is the Secretary General of the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria. What well, He was also on the train and he was shot dead with uh, the chairman of uh, Kwara State Trade Union Congress. So these are the new revelations I got to know about late, uh, late uh, yesterday. So, um, and, and uh, our local driver, the person who drove the train, and one of our train lightning staff, that is the person that takes care of the light on the train, is still in the hands of the kidnappers. We are yet to hear any information from them, and even the family are yet to confirm to us whether they have received any call from the kidnappers. So these are some of the new revelations we are getting to know. Well, um, we also hear that uh, there's been an order by the federal government to suspend uh, activities and, you know, train movement from that particular route. Can you please confirm this? Yes, yes, that is very, very true. And uh, whether federal government suspends or not, it is even not possible for any train to run through that route, except all the locals and the coaches that were affected by the incident are evacuated from the scene. And then the blasted portion of the track will have to be fixed back before any movement can take place on that axis. So it is very correct and it is very true that uh, uh, movements have been suspended for now. All right. Um, also, Innocent, I just need to bring this um, to your um, notice and also I can get a bit of clarity uh, as to what uh, is uh, making the round across um, not just some um, social media but also in the news as we got some alleged um, racketeering specifically what happened on the train that day you might need to confirm all of this for me from what we hear uh, what we heard about the manifest uh, there were 398 tickets bought uh, 362 confirmed boarded how do we have 970 that were actually on board if there were 398 ticket bought and only 362 were confirmed uh, to have boarded the train? Can you explain to me this, um, I don't know, this uh, disparity, this uh, infraction? How do you explain this? Well, um, number one, I I cannot confirm that that uh, list you have was from railway management or from our own office because I actually came across the list also on social media. But uh, I tried to verify from the office, but um, I am yet to get that confirmed. Secondly, it will interest you to know that almost, uh, I mean, most of our tickets, in fact, larger portion of the tickets are bought online. And so if there is any recatering going on in the station, I cannot confirm that a railway staff is involved because we, we have a way of monitoring our staff. We have a way of monitoring our members. 
if uh, you know for instance you get to the station and uh, you are unable to buy online you can buy at the station at the ticket booth in the station so um i and we have not confirmed of any uh, staff being involved on uh, ticket recruiting so but however anything can happen it's just like in the airport that uh, when you are in a haste to move somebody can just get a ticket and then you you use the name and then you have uh, maybe a mode of identification to confirm that you are the, you own the ticket this and that so it cannot be equally avoided or it could also be possible that is happening on our stations because you as we are speaking you can just go on our website and, and, and buy the ticket so uh, anybody can buy the ticket and try to do whatever he wanted to do but i want to assure you that we have the presence of security there and uh, anybody who tries to do that and if alarm is raised they are normally apprehended so um, i cannot correlate the number on that list with the number of uh, passengers on board so, but so uh, i think the authorities that are in charge of um, the ticket you know that portion of selling of the ticket has been uh, um, privatized to an, a, 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 a private organization. So they manage the website, they manage the tickets and uh, whatever is involved on, on, on that, they should at least be able to speak better. You, you are the president of the Nigerian Union of Railway Workers. How many persons were on board on that train when this attack when happened? They, uh, you know, our train it has a, a simple calculation can give you the number of people on board. Our train is a train that uh, uh, carries uh, about eight to ten coaches, and um, uh, on the on the economy class, you can have like 90, 90, 95 to ninety seven passengers on the economy class. Then on the first class, you can have like sixty five to sixty seven uh, uh, seats on the first class uh, uh, coaches. So, which of course, um, if you put them all together, we are talking of about uh, 800 to 900 passengers on, on on board. But another issue is that that so, train. So you're saying that, that is. Train, so you're saying that it's possible that uh, not about 800 to about 900 uh, persons were on board. It's possible that you would have had that it number. Is, that it, is, it, it is very very possible they can be on board because at the time our train can carry 800 to 900 passengers at a time. So, but it all depends on the patronage, and mostly night trains doesn't normally get filled up with passengers because not everybody travels at night. So I cannot ascertain or I cannot assure you that uh, the number of uh, passengers on that train that day was up to 900. Okay, but I still need you to to talk about this train racketeering because uh, sometime in December we went out, um, you know, to the rail um, lines and uh, lots of people were stranded. A lot of customers and passengers that is lamented that uh, they couldn't really get access to ticket online. That um, either the systems were down, and then they 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 noticed that they saw lots of um you know round tripping and fast play around the you know the rail the railway services and all that are you telling me that right now that um, the issue of um, ticket yakutarian has, has stopped on our rail tracks or on our railway um services uh well i can assure you that we have taken measures to stop our staff that were involved in that kind of thing because it will interest you to know that uh, between uh, that time and this year, about uh, two or two, three staff were dismissed because of this uh, kind of thing. And since then, we have sensitized our members as a union and we have sensitized um, our passengers that they should try to buy their tickets legally. If you are unable to get your ticket online, go to the ticketing booth. You can get your ticket from there. But any ticket you are buying from an individual, you should know that you are, you are, you are taking the risk that you are on your own. So if uh, passengers are complaining about that, it means they wanted a shortcut into getting our tickets. But if they follow the right channel, nobody will buy tickets for more than the official price that we have. So how, how, does, the, how does your system allow people to you know, buy tickets not from the ticketing booth or online? How does this really happen? Thank you very much. There's an app that you just go to the... Uh, to, you can go to the Play Store and download. So once you download that app, you can be able to buy tickets on your own, just like the flight ticket. Then if you are unable to buy online, you can go to the station 
we have our staff at the station at the ticketing booth. It is clearly written. And once you get there, you will see our staff there. And then you, you purchase if there are seats left on the train. But if you if you have to travel by 10 o'clock, you have to go like two hours earlier so you can get ticket because most of the tickets are normally exhausted even online. So if you don't go on time or maybe if you want to if you have to travel by two o'clock, then you have to be at the station to get your ticket as early as 10 o'clock. So but no, once no, you delay before you I, I'm not sure I'm not sure you're getting the question here. You you mentioned that there's a tendency that people can buy tickets not at the ticketed booth or buying online. Yeah. And now yeah. if we have a system because we in all of this um, the argument here is that the manifesto that's been put out by the um, you know, railway corporation is that you have yeah. 398 passengers on board. And that's the manifesto that's been put out. But you also have the argument that there were 970 persons. And you know what was recorded was 398. And so if you had head count showed that you had 970, which were not recorded, you only had those that were recorded 398. You have mentioned that, yes, there's a possibility to manipulate the system. And I'm asking that how does your system allow for this manipulation, that people can get tickets? On the one hand, you have mentioned the airplane, just like you go to the airport and get a ticket. If I get a ticket, whether online or not, it comes with, you know, um, some form, you have to show some form of identification. So I'm asking, yes. how of all of this, how is all of this excess is happening in your system? Because you have admitted to that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you see, when the management of railway notice that such things are happening. You know, ordinarily before you can get your ticket and use any uh, ID card to, 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 so you can identify yourself to have access to the train. But now they have made it so mandatory that you must have a valid ID card. That is either driving license, international passport, or national ID card. So first of all, the, I cannot, I have told you earlier on that I cannot uh, ascertain the source of that uh, uh, list you are uh, uh, you came across to have been the no names of the passengers on our train. And uh, as I speak to you officially, I've not had access to that list. Also, I've been seeing it flying on social media. So, if you are sure that that list is from railway management, then I am sure railway management should uh, have some some questions to answer on that list that you are uh, exhibiting on the screen. So the, the, that is the position. So our system does not allow um, uh, anybody to manipulate because between that December and this time, measures were taken. And if you don't have a valid ID card, you should know that you cannot write on our train. So that is the position. All right. Uh, thank you, um, Innocent um, uh, Gigi. Uh, you, he is the President General of the Joint Union of Railway Workers. Uh, he brought us up to speed on uh, the situation uh, with the Kaduna Abuja train attack and, of course, um, the allegations of uh, ticket racketeering and uh, some disparity between the manifest that we what we what is flying all over social media and as regards the number of people who were aboard that particular train. Thank you once again, Innocent GG. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much. All right, uh, it's um, The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll move away now from the Kaduna train um, incident. Uh, we'll be looking at something that is equally important. Uh, let's talk about our children for a bit, talk about um, their development, talk about uh, what they are reading, what they are viewing online, what they are watching on television, what they are just uh, even listening to on podcasts. Uh, how sensitive are these things and, and how positively or negatively, are they impacting on their lives? We have um, a psychologist and um, a life coach uh, who will be joining us in a moment to discuss all of that. Stay with us when we return. <laughs>